King Edward VII's relationship with India continued after he became king. At his coronation in 1902 was attended by several Indian rulers, including the Maharaja of Jaipur, who brought with him a dazzling sword with the scabbard inset with 719 diamonds. The diamonds, for all their size, are not as deep as they look when you first see them. They're actually incredibly finely cut slivers of diamond, like little window panes, that have had silver foil dished and put behind them to help them reflect the light and have added luminosity. But the stone setting is the thing that I particularly love, and that creates a wonderfully organic and freeform setting in a way that we don't often find in European settings.